Okay, so another e-celeb is talking about guns. How much sense does it make to say it's legal for you to have a gun, but just please don't shoot anyone because then it's illegal. And stop, wait, 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 shh, 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 shh. No, it's not that bad. We're talking about a different person here. I wanted to make a video that's a little out of the norm from what I usually do. Uh, this is in relation to the Stoneman Douglas shootings. That's right, it's everybody's favorite internet goofball, who I'm also subscribed to, by the way, Markiplier, talking about gun control and why we need more of it. To Mark's credit though, he at least does come off a little bit more humility with a little bit more humility than Superwoman, so I give credit to him on that. But on the other hand, on the substance of what he's talking about, of how he's approaching it, I had to give it a dislike. Alright, enough chit chat. Without further ado, let's get into this. First and foremost, I have to say that I'm incredibly proud of the way the kids have been handling themselves, how they've been demonstrating all across the country in the organization of marches and talks with uh, people in political spheres. And usually I stay out of anything that has to do with politics or, or religion or anything of the above. That's all right, Mark. Not everybody can talk about politics on a day-to-day -day basis. But in this particular case, I felt I needed to say something because some of my fans have been affected by this. And some of my fans are out there demonstrating about this. And I wanted to say something because I don't feel it's right that kids have to be the ones on the front lines of this fight. Honestly, I don't think people in general and even kids get involved enough in politics, but go on. Uh, and, and I wanted to throw in my support and give my thoughts on the matter for whatever that may be worth. You know how the old saying goes, opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has one and they all stink. Uh, but to give you a background, um, I have an extensive background and experience with guns. Uh, my father was a 24-year army man. He was a member of the NRA. He taught me about guns from a very early age, and he taught me to respect them and how to properly handle guns. I have gone to the shooting range many times. I've shot all kinds of guns. Uh, my dad even built muzzle loader rifles as a hobby. So when I say these things, just know that it's not coming from a place of ignorance. Hmm. I'm going to save that clip for later. So, when I say these things, just know that it's not coming from a place of ignorance. And first and foremost, I want to say that I don't think people should be able to access assault rifles. Oh, shit! There is the hotly contested term right there. I f***ing knew he was going to bring it up. If by assault rifles you mean fully automatic rifles, well guess what, they're already outlawed in the US. But if by assault rifles you're meaning to refer to AR-15s like the one that was used in the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting, well guess what, AR-15s are not fully automatic, they are semi-automatics, which means that they are not assault rifles. So what was that that Mark said a little bit earlier? So when I say these things, just know that it's not coming from a place of ignorance. <coughs> Um, <clears throat> yeah. There's no beating around the bush. There's no kidding about it. There's no exaggerations. Assault rifles exist solely to kill people. Uh-huh. And you could say the same thing about all guns. Uh -huh. Assault rifles especially, they don't have any purpose in hunting. Are you sure about that, Mark? Because I'm pretty sure I can limit myself to shooting off only one round from an AR-15 into the deer so as to kill it but not completely screw up the meat and fur from it. They have a purpose in self-defense only to the point where they can kill multiple people with a lot of bullets in a very large magazine. If you're referring to assault rifles like actual fully automatic assault rifles, well then your point seems kind of moot since they're already banned 
but if you are trying to refer to AR-15s even though they are not assault rifles, well, AR-15s, there are some cases of where people use them in one versus one circumstances and not all the time when they're used against a large group of thugs that are trying to invade your home. Say if that case was going to happen to somebody, they would need like a fully automatic rifle or at least an AR-15. I know I'm going out on a limb and just saying this outright, but I'm 100% in the field that we need to ban assault rifles. Boy, have I got news for you because they already are. And besides that, as it stands right now, according to FBI crime statistics right here, rifles, shotguns, other guns, and firearms of unstated type are dwarfed by how many gun homicides are committed with handguns. I know that people will say that gun control laws are not the thing that can change this, or at least they'll say that it's not the only thing that can change this. More like people will say that it is not the correct thing to change this. But in my mind, why not do everything in our power to try to protect our kids, or our people, or our fellow countrymen, or our neighbors? Yeah, like we as individuals arming ourselves to the best of our abilities with handguns, shotguns, semi-auto rifles, and maybe even full auto assault rifles to protect our own families, kids, maybe even old man Sal next door, or how about putting up some kind of security in our public schools, or some kind of other action that does not infringe on the liberties of people to own guns, or even AR-15s that you're mistaking to be assault rifles when they're not. And in the avenue of trying to attack this from both sides, why don't we stop stigmatizing mental health? Why don't we stop treating it like some sort of problem that people just need to bear alone? That should be the first and foremost of everything, not just in these, but in general, because there's so many people out there suffering silently with mental illnesses that need help and are so afraid to go out and get it because of the way we treat it in this country. I agree. But everything that you said there was all cultural and not really anything to do with the law. But if you're trying to imply in all that that we should have better treatment for mental health patients, well then, I'm not all too fond of increasing our own government spending, but at the same time, I'm far more open to that idea than taking away people's individual rights to own weapons. And also, why do we require more licensing and registration for cars than we do for guns? A lot of states already either heavily regulate or even outright ban you from bringing your own firearms from another more gun-like state with or without the proper licensing. Whereas with a car, as long as you have a driver's license, can drive it wherever you want across this nation. Plus, we already have criminal background checks with a good portion of the states in order for you to merely buy a gun. Whereas with automobiles, you require a license to drive a car, but not to purchase it. I know that people abide very closely by the Second Amendment, and me as a proud American, I'm very proud of our Constitution, but at the same time, there has to be some measure of control. I know that people want to be able to bear arms, and I respect that. I come from a family that was all about that, but that doesn't mean that we can't have some measure of control over these extremely dangerous tools. Nobody's disagreeing with that, Mark. A lot of us agree with the idea of criminal background checks. The only place where there's debate is the amount of control that we should have over said dangerous tools. In the end, people will say that I'm spouting ignorance or that I don't know what I'm talking about or that I'm saying things that are wrong and that is fine. It is fine for somebody to be spouting ignorance or to be misinformed on a subject. At least you aren't being snarky and condescending about your approach to this issue and spouting off crackpot logic like some people around here. How much sense does it make to say it's legal for you to have a gun but just please don't shoot anyone because then it's illegal? Shut the f up, stupid woman. Why shouldn't we be doing absolutely everything in our power to help? Now is not the time for talk. Now is not the time for empty promises. Now is the time to do something for the people that are suffering most from this. I want to end this by saying that these kids that are out demonstrating, they are an inspiration. 
an absolute inspiration, not just to me, but to everybody watching across the country. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from as far as them being an inspiration of how people should be more politically active, but at the same time, they're not an inspiration because not all of us agree with what they're saying and how they want to approach the subject of guns, gun rights, and gun control, Mark. And if you're watching this and you are out there demonstrating or you're organizing marches or you're talking to the people who are supposedly in power of these decisions, keep it up. Because the world is listening. The country is listening. People will try to ignore you and people will try to dismiss your opinion. But I'm actually planning on responding to some of those opinions in a later response video. You are the future of this country. And you are the future of the world and your actions dictate what our future will be. So don't give up the fight. Stay strong. And thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah, there wasn't much that I disagreed with those last few minutes in his video. I just wanted to play the rest of it to let the emotion seep in because I know that Markiplier means good. And he really is being sincere about his opinion, unlike Superwoman that I keep on mentioning. The thing was that I just wanted to get the record straight on the gun terminology and the fact that assault rifles are already banned ever since the 1980s. And I know that he has a far-reaching voice that will influence hundreds of thousands of minds. And my only hope is that maybe I can like reach at least a few thousand of those minds. Maybe, maybe not, but... I still made this video. And so in closing, because he was kind, I tried to be kind in my response. I hope I came off as kind and fair to him. I do not mean to be unfair in my response to him. And I really do actually miss the older Markiplier. I'm still subscribed to him. I still like the guy as an entertainer. But I really miss the old Markiplier, the one that played Amnesia, Slenderman, and third-rate indie games. But anyway, that's all I have to say. If you guys like this video, leave a like down below. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see me improve, well then comment down below for some uh, constructive criticism. And I hope to see you guys all later. See you later.